Clark York back again. Today, I was going to talk to you about the transformation layer in your Click Cloud data integration products, but I had my mind blown. I, I started working on my transformation. I added a prefix rule. I had added a brand new field out of the fly to show you how you can use substrings and just create things on the fly. But when I went to settings, I saw this step called materialized. And it said I could materialize or not materialize my table. The cloud is mysterious enough. Do I really need something that's not even being materialized to the cloud? That didn't make sense to me. And I figured if it didn't make sense to me, it might not make sense to you either. So let's dig into this and see what's really going on with these non-materialized views or the materialized tables. I am the digital twin for the click dork, a generative AI, voiceover created by play.h. I will be taking over the remaining portion of the presentation, so deal with it. Creating non-materialized views only or materialized tables is a big choice. Seems rather clear that if we select the non-materialized option, we will generate SQL views for each of our data sets. But if we select the materialized option, we will generate SQL tables for each of our data sets, right? To confirm, let's take a look at what is actually generated in our Snowflake instance for our non-materialized choice. There you go. Views just as expected. In a second transform task, I selected the materialized choice. So let's take a look at what was generated just to confirm. Views. Just as expected. Wait. What? It clearly said it would generate tables, but all I see are views. To understand what is going on, we need to look at the SQL views that Click Cloud Data integration generated for each of the tasks. The views generated with the non-materialized option refers to our storage schema. As you can see, it is aliasing the fields to add a gay prefix to each value, and it is doing a substring function to create a new field called area code on the fly, using the first three digits of the patient's phone number. On the other hand, the view generated by the materialized option seems to pull data from the transform to table. Internal schema. If we look into the transform to table, internal schema, we can see that sure enough, it has a table for the patient records. That table already has the transformation work done. The advantage of the non-materialized option is that it doesn't really do much with the data. It's simply view. So if you have rapid changes being applied, there isn't much CPU work that needs to occur. The CPU work is only used when you end up selecting from the view. The disadvantage of the non-materialized option is that every single time you select something, the transformations have to be applied, which requires CPU work. The advantage of the materialized option is that the CPU work is done only when the task is scheduled and when anything references it, the selections are much faster. The disadvantage is that I have to do all of that CPU work up front, whether or not I ever do a selection against the table. Only you know how much access will occur against the transform schema. If your transform stage is strictly passed through and you are going to build data marts based on it, or have additional transformation tasks that could access it, then you should probably choose the non-materialized option so that, as those tasks are executed, they can apply the transformations on the fly via the views. But if your transformation step is the final destination in your Click Cloud data integration project, then your end users will likely be running queries directly against the transform schema, in which case it makes sense to choose the materialized option. So the CPU work is done only once, and the CPU work is done only once and your hundreds or thousands of queries against are as fast possible. 